I am the wife and my son is my husband. You want to find another way to phrase that? Yes, I do, thank you. Welcome, friends, new and old. We're back this week talking about Frasier, the 2023 continuation, revival, whatever you call it. We are up to episode nine, somehow almost at the end of the season. This one's entitled The Fix is In. Now, there will be spoilers ahead. Take this as your last chance to get out if those aren't for you. On with the show. Before I get into this episode analysis proper, I do just want to kind of present a question or get your opinion on something, and this is based on a lot of the response and reaction I've seen to this new season so far. Would you come at this show in the same frame of mind if it was titled something other than Frasier? And what I'm trying to get at here is it seems like the expectations were already starting out in an unrealistic level because it was coming off the original Frasier and kind of being viewed as a new season of that show. And while that is kind of sort of what this show is, it's a continuation within the same world, I think that leads people to believe it should come out of the gate swinging and be kind of just picking up where they left off, all cylinders firing, all of that stuff. And I'm wondering if it wasn't entitled Frasier, if it was called something else that, you know, evoked that same sense of this being in the Frasier world, but it wasn't viewing itself as a direct continuation, if that would allow people to come into this with more grace, to allow it time to grow, to turn into its own thing because as it stands right now most of the criticisms are that well a it's not funny and that's always going to be subjective but b that is just a pale shadow of the original Frasier and it's not hitting those heights and I don't think it's fair to come into this thinking that it was going to immediately hit everything out of the park and while I don't think it's been a perfect season whatsoever I think there are obviously growing pains the characters being almost completely new outside of Frasier himself and the ones that are returning have new actors playing them, Freddy, of course, I think that it's just going to take time to grow into it. We're nine episodes in. Now, granted, the landscape of current TV doesn't lead us to having 22, 24, whatever episode seasons anymore. So by the end of season one, we're only going to be just a handful of episodes into the old school type of season. But I think that's where this kind of uh, is a double-edged sword. By not titling it Frasier, you're not going to really get all those name recognition people coming back to the show, all of those legacy fans. But by calling it Frasier, you're also kind of bringing people in that are destined to hate your program because it isn't what it used to be. So I don't know where the happy medium would be. If this alternatively was a completely non-Frasier show... Would that also lead people to like it more? Like, let's say this wasn't Frasier, it was just some other new character, and the show is what it is. Do you think people would be enjoying it more because it wasn't living on that legacy of Frasier? I know I just rambled for a long time on things that have nothing to do with the episode. I just wanted to kind of get your opinions on that. So let's get into the story itself. This is mostly a Frasier and Freddy relationship building episode. And I do enjoy that because that's really, in essence, what this show was kind of supposed to be. This is supposed to be the Frasier coming to make amends to Freddy, make amends with Freddy, I guess I should say. And that's really the heart of this episode here. I like the growth and I kind of hope that these developments between them stick. I know in the old days there's less chance of things actually causing long-lasting development because of the episodic nature. And being a sitcom, I think that still kind of stands. But I do genuinely hope that we see these moments between characters and they lead to a status quo shift and a long-lasting change in the relationship. So what we see here is Freddy, obviously, not really feeling up to the task of, you know, anything because Frasier came back into his life. He's paying for everything. He's taking care of everything. So Freddy is living with his father, in essence, not doing anything. And that's kind of a blow to his ego, I guess you could say. So he wants to feel like he's needed and that uh, and he can take care of things for himself. Obviously, that's a very normal thing to feel. We get to see that through uh, the the woman he's trying to bring home at the beginning. And there's this whole farce going on that Frazier now needs to pretend that he's a he's got sundowners and he's losing his marbles because Freddie doesn't want to admit he's just living with his dad for the sake of it. And that's where a lot of the comedy comes in. Of course, I mentioned that's subjective. I found some of it funny. I also found a bit of it to be over the top and just too much especially some of the things Frazier was saying but you know to each their own I'm not going to fault anyone if they really really enjoyed that stuff I like the premise just some of the things he said like about the robots and stuff that was just a little much for me but once again I digress so that was the relationship building between them and I think some of the stuff coming from Frazier himself was the best part of that feeling that he kind of 
he failed his son for these last 30 however many years. He wasn't there for him. He was living on the other side of the country. So all of this stuff he's doing now, all of the stuff he's going to do for the rest of his life is never going to completely make up for those years and that time he wasn't there for his son. So he's desperately trying to just do everything he can right now and it's never ever going to be enough. I thought that was a great moment of realization and not even just a realization to Frazier but an admission that this is what was happening to Alan. And speaking of Alan, there was a subplot going on where Alan now has uh, David as his TA. I thought that that was fine, I guess. I always love Alan and the little relationship going on between Alan and David, especially once we realize the reason David is putting up with it because he was coddled by his parents, Niles and Daphne. Again, kind of calling back to the original Frasier, needing to have that background information to truly make it make sense. So I like that component, but the overall storyline between them didn't find it to be all that compellingly humorous, especially the stuff that David was doing. So overall, while I did enjoy the relationship moments, the character building, the depth and all of that stuff in this episode, I didn't exactly find all of the humor to hit for me. So while this is a sitcom, I still do like to watch it for a lot of the moments between the characters and the situations and the interactions. Those are really what I come here for. If there's uh, laugh out loud jokes or just situations that make me roll on the floor laughing, those are just bonus points. So as long as the characters are interacting in a fun and interesting way, that's truly what I'm here for at the end of the day. And I think they really did a decent job with that here. I wouldn't say this is necessarily my favorite episode of the season by far, but it really was an important episode, especially since it appears that next episode is going to be, and again, another spoiler warning for that, the return of a legacy character in Roz, and she looks great in the promo images. So I'm definitely feeling that that is going to to prove to be the biggest episode of the season as far as feeling like that original Frasier. If she and Frasier still have that chemistry, it also looks like it's going to be a Christmas episode. So all of the stuff we've seen so far has really had to work hard to build itself and to kind of make itself worth existing in this universe before we start bringing in those legacy characters who are going to in my opinion, hopefully and inevitably, kind of blow it out of the water and rekindle that old magic. That remains to be seen. Hopefully we get a lot more of this in the future. I really would like to see this extended to a full 22 episode season or something like that. Because frankly, I just don't feel like a 10 episode season for a sitcom like this is enough to really even give it a chance to go. But those are just my thoughts. What did you think of this episode? What do you think of the future of this show? Are you excited to see Roz return next week? Leave all those thoughts down below if you want to answer or the question I posed earlier, that would be fantastic as well. But until next time... No, we're, uh, still gotta patch things up. What the hell do you think I'm trying to do? <laughs> Run the wall, Dad. <laughs>